Is rice nutritious? Rice is a rich source of carbohydrates, the body's main fuel source. Carbohydrates can keep you energized and satisfied, and are important for fueling exercise. Brown rice, especially, is an excellent source of many nutrients, including fiber, manganese, selenium, magnesium, and B vitamins. In addition to calories, rice is a good source of magnesium, phosphorus, manganese, selenium, iron, folic acid, thiamine, and niacin, but it is low in fiber and fat. Eating rice every day can be healthy, as long as you are meeting your nutritional needs through other foods. Caspero does offer up one caveat, saying that it's important to be aware of the arsenic content in rice, which is more of a concern for infants, children, pregnant women, and older adults. Rice is a cereal grain, and in its domesticated form is the staple food for over half of the world's human population, particularly in Asia and Africa, due to the vast amount of soil that is able to grow rice. Rice is the seed of the grass species Oryza sativa, Asian rice, or, much less commonly, Oglaberima, African rice. Asian rice was domesticated in China some 13,500 to 8,200 years ago, while African rice was domesticated in Africa some 3,000 years ago. Rice has become commonplace in many cultures worldwide, in 2021, 787 million tons were produced, placing it fourth after sugarcane, maize, and wheat. Only some 8% of rice is traded internationally. China, India, and Indonesia are the largest consumers of rice. A substantial amount of the rice produced in developing nations is lost after harvest through factors such as poor transport and storage. Rice yields can be reduced by pests including insects, rodents, and birds, as well as by weeds, and by diseases such as rice blast. Traditional polycultures such as rice duck farming, and modern integrated pest management seek to control damage from pests in a sustainable way. Many varieties of rice have been bred to improve crop quality and productivity. Biotechnology has created green revolution rice able to produce high yields when supplied with nitrogen fertilizer and managed intensively. Other products are rice able to express human proteins for medicinal use, flood tolerant or deep water rice, and drought tolerant and salt tolerant varieties. Rice is used as a model organism in biology. Dry rice grain is milled to remove the outer layers, depending on how much is removed. Products range from brown rice to rice with germ and white rice. Some is parboiled to make it easy to cook. Rice contains no gluten, it provides protein but not all the essential amino acids needed for good health. Rice of different types is eaten around the world. Long grain rice tends to stay intact on cooking, medium grain rice is stickier, and is used for sweet dishes, and in Italy for risotto, and sticky short grain rice is used in Japanese sushi as it keeps its shape when cooked. White rice when cooked contains 29% carbohydrate and 2% protein, with some manganese. Golden rice is a variety produced by genetic engineering to contain vitamin A. Production of rice is estimated to have caused over 1% of global greenhouse gas emissions in 2022. Rice yields are predicted to fall by some 20% with each 1 degree Celsius rise in global mean temperature. In human culture, rice plays a role in certain religions and traditions, such as in weddings. The rice plant can grow to over 1 meter 3 feet tall, if in deep water, it can reach a length of 5 meters 16 feet. A single plant may have several leafy stems or tillers. The upright stem is jointed with nodes along its length, a long slender leaf arises from each node. The self-fertile flowers are produced in a panicle, a branched inflorescence which arises from the last internode on the stem. There can be up to 350 spikelets in a panicle, each containing male and female flower parts, anthers and ovule. A fertile least ovule develops into the edible grain or caryopsis. Rice is a cereal belonging to the family Poceae. As a tropical crop, it can be grown during the two distinct seasons, dry and wet, of the year provided that sufficient water is made available. It is normally an annual, but in the tropics it can survive as a perennial, producing a ratun crop. 
Like all crops, rice depends for its growth on both biotic and abiotic environmental factors. The principal biotic factors are crop variety, pests, and plant diseases. Abiotic factors include the soil type, whether lowland or upland, amount of rain or irrigation water, temperature, day length, and intensity of sunlight. Rice grains can be planted directly into the field where they will grow, or seedlings can be grown in a seed bed and transplanted into the field. Direct seeding needs some 60 to 80 kilograms of grain per hectare, while transplanting needs less, around 40 kilograms per hectare, but requires far more labor. Most rice in Asia is transplanted by hand. Mechanical transplanting takes less time but requires a carefully prepared field and seedlings raised on mats or in trays to fit the machine. Rice does not thrive if continuously submerged. Rice can be grown in different environments, depending upon water availability. The usual arrangement is for lowland fields to be surrounded by buns and flooded to a depth of a few centimeters until around a week before harvest time, this requires a large amount of water. The alternate wetting and drying technique uses less water. One form of this is to flood the field to a depth of 5 cm, 2 in, then to let the water level drop to 15 cm, 6 in, below surface level, as measured by looking into a perforated field water tube sunk into the soil, and then repeating the cycle. Deep water rice varieties tolerate flooding to a depth of over 50 cm for at least a month. Upland rice is grown without flooding, in hilly or mountainous regions, it is rain-fed like wheat or maize. Across Asia, unmilled rice, or paddy, Indonesian and Malay paddy, was traditionally the product of smallholder agriculture, with manual harvesting. Larger farms make use of machines such as combine harvesters to reduce the input of labor. The grain is ready to harvest when the moisture content is 20 to 25%. Harvesting involves reaping, stacking the cut stalks, threshing to separate the grain, and cleaning by winnowing or screening. The rice grain is dried as soon as possible to bring the moisture content down to a level that is safe from mold fungi. Traditional drying relies on the heat of the sun, with the grain spread out on mats or on pavements. Oriza sativa rice was first domesticated in the Yangtze River Basin in China 13,500 to 8,200 years ago. The functional allele for nonce hattering, the critical indicator of domestication in grains, as well as five other single nucleotide polymorphisms, is identical in both Indica and Japonica. This implies a single domestication event for O. sativa. Both Indica and Japonica forms of Asian rice sprang from a single domestication event in China from the wild rice or rice Arufapagan. Despite this evidence, it appears that Indica rice arose when Japonica arrived in India about 4,500 years ago and hybridized with another rice, whether an undomesticated proto-Indica or wild Onivora. Further, Rice grains with signs of having been cut have been found alongside stone tools dated to 17,300 years ago at Sarora in Korea. This implies domestication in progress, far from the Yangtze River basin, at an earlier date. Cultivation, migration, and trade spread rice around the world first to much of East Asia, then further abroad, and eventually to the Americas as part of the Columbian Exchange after 1492. The now less common Oriza glabarima, African rice, was independently domesticated in Africa around 3,000 years ago, and introduced to the Americas by the Spanish. In 2021, world production of rice was 787 million tons, led by China and India with a combined 52% of the total. This placed rice fourth in the list of crops by production, after sugarcane, maize, and wheat. Other major producers were Bangladesh, Indonesia, and Vietnam. 90% of world production is from Asia. The average world yield for rice was 4.7 metric tons per hectare, 2.1 short tons per acre, in 2022. Yuan Longping of China's National Hybrid Rice Research and Development Center set a world record for rice yield in 1999 at 17.1 metric tons per hectare, 7.6 short tons per acre, on a demonstration plot. This employed specially developed hybrid rice and the system of rice intensification, SRI, 
and innovation in rice farming. Rice is a major food staple in Asia, Latin America, and some parts of Africa, feeding over half the world's population. However, a substantial part of the crop can be lost post-harvest through inefficient transportation, storage, and milling. A quarter of the crop in Nigeria is lost after harvest. Storage losses include damage by mold fungi if the rice is not dried sufficiently. In China, losses in modern metal silos were just 0.2%, compared to 7-13% to when rice was stored by rural households. The dry grain is milled to remove the outer layers, namely the husk and bran. These can be removed in a single step, in two steps, or as in commercial milling in a multi-step process of cleaning, dehusking, separation, polishing, grating, and weighing. Brown rice only has the inedible husk removed. Further milling removes bran and the germ to create successively whiter products. Parboiled rice is subjected to a steaming process before it is milled. This makes the grain harder, and moves some of the grain's vitamins and minerals into the white part of the rice so these are retained after milling. Rice does not contain gluten, so is suitable for people on a gluten-free diet. Rice is a good source of protein and a staple food in many parts of the world, but it is not a complete protein as it does not contain all of the essential amino acids in sufficient amounts for good health. World trade figures are much smaller than those for production, as less than 8% of rice produced is traded internationally. China, an exporter of rice in the early 2000s, had become the world's largest importer of rice by 2013. Developing countries are the main players in the world rice trade. By 2012, India was the largest exporter of rice, with Thailand and Vietnam the other largest exporters. As of 2016, the countries that consumed the most rice were China, 29% of total, India, and Indonesia. By 2020, Bangladesh had taken third place from Indonesia. On an annual average from 2020 to 23, China consumed 154 million tons of rice, India consumed 109 million tons, and Bangladesh and Indonesia consumed about 36 million tons each. Across the world, rice consumption per capita fell in the 21st century as people in Asia and elsewhere ate less grain and more meat. An exception is Sub-Saharan Africa, where both per capita consumption of rice and population are increasing. Rice is commonly consumed as food around the world. The varieties of rice are typically classified as short dash, medium dash, and long grained. Short grain rices include Italian Arborio rice for risotto. Medium grain rices include Japanese sushi rice, which is slightly sticky. Long grain rices include South Asian basmati, with a nutty flavor, and Thai jasmine rice with a flowery aroma and soft texture. Cooked white rice is 69% water, 29% carbohydrates, 2% protein, and contains negligible fat. Table. In a reference serving of 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, cooked white rice provides 130 calories of food energy, and contains moderate levels of manganese, 18% DV, with no other micronutrients in significant content, all less than 10% of the daily value. In 2018, the World Health Organization strongly recommended fortifying rice with iron, and conditionally recommended fortifying it with vitamin A and with folic acid. Golden rice is a variety produced through genetic engineering to synthesize beta-carotene, a precursor of vitamin A, in the endosperm of the rice grain. It is intended to be grown and eaten in parts of the world where vitamin A deficiency is prevalent. Golden rice has been opposed by activists, such as in the Philippines. In 2016 more than 100 Nobel laureates encouraged the use of genetically modified organisms, such as golden rice, for the benefits these could bring. Rice yield can be reduced by wheat growth, and a wide variety of pests including insects, nematodes, rodents such as rats, snails, and birds. Major rice insect pests include ants, armyworms, black bugs, cutworms, field crickets, grasshoppers, leafhoppers, mealybugs, and plant hoppers.
high rates of nitrogen fertilizer application may worsen aphid outbreaks. Weather conditions can contribute to pest outbreaks, rice gall midge outbreaks are worsened by high rainfall in the wet season, while thrips outbreaks are associated with drought. Rice blast, caused by the fungus Magnoporthygria, is the most serious disease of growing rice. It and bacterial leaf streak, caused by Xanthomatis oryzae pv oryzae, are perennially the two worst rice diseases worldwide, they are both among the ten most important diseases of all crop plants. Other major rice diseases include sheath blight, caused by Rhizoctonia solani, false smut, Ustilaginoidea virens, and bacterial panicle blight, Burkholderia glumi. Viral diseases include rice bunchy stunt, rice dwarf, rice tongue gross, and rice yellow model. Crop protection scientists are developing sustainable techniques for managing rice pests. Sustainable pest management is based on four principles, biodiversity, host plant resistance, landscape ecology, and hierarchies in a landscape from biological to social. Farmers' pesticide applications are often unnecessary. Pesticides may actually induce resurgence of populations of rice pests such as plant hoppers, both by destroying beneficial insects and by enhancing the pest's reproduction. The International Rice Research Institute, IRRI, demonstrated in 1993 that an 87.5% reduction in pesticide use can lead to an overall drop in pest numbers. Farmers in China, Indonesia, and the Philippines have traditionally managed weeds and pests by the polycultural practice of raising ducks and sometimes fish in their rice paddies. These produce valuable additional crops, eat small pest animals, manure the rice, and in the case of ducks also control weeds. Rice plants produce their own chemical defenses to protect themselves from pest attacks. Some synthetic chemicals, such as the herbicide 2,4-D, cause the plant to increase the production of certain defensive chemicals and thereby increase the plant's resistance to some types of pests. Conversely, other chemicals, such as the insecticide imidacloprid, appear to induce changes in the gene expression of the rice that make the plant more susceptible to certain pests. Plant breeders have created rice cultivars incorporating resistance to various insect pests. Conventional plant breeding of resistant varieties has been limited by challenges such as rearing insect pests for testing, and the great diversity and continuous evolution of pests. Resistance genes are being sought from wild species of rice, and genetic engineering techniques are being applied. Rice plays an important role in certain religions and popular beliefs. In Hindu wedding ceremonies, rice, denoting fertility, prosperity, and purity, is thrown into the sacred fire, a custom modified in Western weddings, where people throw rice. In Malay weddings, rice features in multiple special wedding foods such as sweet glutinous rice. In Japan and the Philippines, rice wine is used for weddings and other celebrations. Dewey Sri is a goddess of the Indo-Malaysian archipelago, who in myth is transformed into rice or other crops. The start of the rice planting season is marked in Asian countries including Nepal and Cambodia with the royal plowing ceremony. Thank you for watching this video.